Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a spreadsheet in Photoshop so that you can later on apply it to your animations and make some games. So I'm going to create some pixel art first for the animation. By the way, this tutorial is divided in two parts. First, I'll make the the frames of the animations, and then I'll make I'll transform it into a spreadsheet. If you already have the if you already have the the frames, then just skip to the second part. Okay, so I'm going to create a, a document which is 20 by 20 pixels. I'm going to name it here hero, and uh, let's make some pixel art. Now to make to make an animation, many people think that in Photoshop you can't make an animation, but that is actually wrong. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to make first a, a simple character, you know, something real simple, like this. And now, for you to make uh, more animations, all you have to do is to, to press Ctrl J to make a copy of that layer and change that layer to something else. Yes. For instance, oops, I want to make something like this and then make this leg go up and this leg go down and so on so on but uh, to preview the animation you have to use them this timeline window to open it you go to the window and the timeline and you are presented with this which is the first frame and basically each frame is like a, a scene for example yeah, I have here two frames but they are the same because they have the same layer visible all the frame all the frames have to have all the layers but some of them might can be invisible so that you can make actually an animation like I did just there because here this frame is visible and here only this frame is visible so for example if I change the UI to two seconds I, I see him tapping the his feet his feet like that I know that's not that bit of animation, but well. Okay, so I have now added a couple more frames, and now the animation looks like this. Now all we have to do is to make it into a spreadsheet. So let's do that. First off, you're gonna have to to close your Photoshop. Uh, of course, yeah, save the project. We will we'll later on open it again, but then. This link is in the description, but you can also go, you can also do this. Just write something like Photoshop layers to sprite sheet on Google. And click the link that says, that sends you to a GitHub page. And you download by clicking this button. This was not made by me, it was made by this guy. Thank him. I don't know how, but thank him. And uh, once the file is downloaded, you go on to the, the page where it's downloaded and open it with your favorite extractor tool. I have 7 zip, but with WinRar it is the same, just double click it and double click again, double click again, and you are presented with this file. Now, if you go back onto into the the page where you downloaded it, it says here the this guy shows us some instructions. It says here to put it onto program files, Adobe Photoshop reset script, and that's what we're going to do. And to later on access it, just go to file, automate script, and it will be there. So let's put the file first on this folder. If you have the 32-bit version, maybe instead of putting it on the program files folder, you put it on x86 folder. 
but I have the 64 bit version, so I put it in this folder Adobe, Photoshop, Presets, Scripts, and drag it into here. As you can see, I already have it here, but it's no problem putting it again. Okay, once that's done, you can now open Photoshop again. So, open Photoshop. And, by the way, the instructions said for you to go to into the scripts folder. In this version of Photoshop, you don't need to go to that scripts folder. Just go on to file, scripts, instead of going to automate scripts and then uh, search for it there. No, it's right here on scripts. Just click on scripts and uh, find this layer to sprite sheet, which is the file that we put on that folder. Click it and it will be some, it will do some stuff <laughs> that will make the sprite sheet for you. And uh, for example, uh, before this, each of these little guys occupied uh, 20 pixels by 20 so if I go I can divide this into a grid so that this later on in a wait and now we have our frames aligned each one measuring 20 by 20 frames and ready to be implemented into a game so I think that's it for today guys, if you have any doubts put it on the comments, I will read them, probably, and see you next time.